Praise be Jesus and Mary. In the first reading from the book of Genesis, we have in Isaac an example of prayer and also a type of Christ. It says, One day toward evening, Isaac went out in the field. And the Douay Reims translation specifies that he went out in the field to meditate. So the day's work is done, it's towards the evening time, and Isaac strolls out in the field to meditate, that is, to pray. And what did he meditate on? St. Augustine says that Isaac was meditating on natural things, such as the motion and course of the stars, and especially God, who is their author and mover. So just like St. Francis, lover of God's creation, um, meditating on God's creation, then elevates heart and mind up to the creator, okay? moving from the creation to the creator. In meditation, this is really necessary for the life of wisdom. It is necessary to pray and to meditate and especially the example we have here after the day's work to kind of settle down, quiet ourselves interiorly, recollect ourselves after all the hustle and bustle of the day. Walk out in the field. We have fields around here. We can walk out and meditate. And of course, ask Isaac to join us and pray with us and for us. St. Ambrose says, it is wise to separate oneself from the desires of the flesh, from worldly things, to immerse oneself in nature, to elevate the soul. In fact, St. Ambrose wrote an entire book on Isaac. And in his book, he uses Isaac to describe the progress of the soul in the spiritual life. And another commenter on scripture says that Isaac here is a type of Christ who himself in the evening retreated up the mountain to pray throughout the night. So let's remember the importance of prayer for the spiritual life and to make spiritual progress. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.